Right, for those of you that love the Fire Stick and for those of you that love Android TV, it's good news for you guys because they've had a baby. Not in the literal sense, but it's good news. Hey guys, Lee here from iStream News. Hope you are well. Now, it's good news for those of you that love Android TV and the Amazon Fire Stick because they've sort of integrated with each other in some sort of sense. What I mean is you can now get Android TV 11.0 on the Amazon Fire Stick. Yes, you heard me right. You can get Android TV on the Fire Stick. So let's get on to XDA developers and show you the post and talk about what I mean. But first, if you are new, hit that subscribe button and let me keep you updated with the latest streaming news, tips and tutorials. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, here is the article, and of course, we're going to have a look on XDA developers as well. But as you can see, the title, Amazon Fire TV Stick, the third generation, gets Android TV 11 with the unofficial Lineage OS 18.1. Now, for those that don't know what Lineage is, or Lineage, as some people say, it is basically a custom ROM for Android. It's based on the stock version of Android, and it's very customizable. For those of you who like routing, no doubt you've heard of Lineage. It is one of the if not the best ROM you can get for Android. And what I mean by stock Android is, for instance, when you buy a Samsung phone that is customized with their sort of OS or software or ROM. However, if you bought a stock Android phone like the Pixel range, or even OnePlus, they are pretty much close to stock. That is built on stock Android. It's bare minimum, it's fast, it's bloat free, and if you've got an Android phone, it is the best way to run the Android OS, running it stock. And what Lineage have done, they've taken a stock Android, they've customized it by being able to tweak different customizations and the look and feel of it, like moving the status bar around, lots of cool tweaks and features, and now it's available for the Fire Stick. So let's scroll through the article and have a look, and yes, I've got a lovely pink cup of tea. Beautiful. Now, one thing Amazon say is you're not allowed to customize their software. So for this to work, for you to have stock Android or lineage on the Fire Stick and remove the Fire Stick OS, you will need to have your Fire Stick rooted and you will need a custom kernel. Now, this all might sound like a load of jargon at the minute, but rooting is essentially the alternative to jailbreaking. This technically is the real jailbreak. Anyway, let's read the article. So XDA have put, when it comes to streaming dongles, the Amazon Fire Stick are some of the most popular streaming devices on the market. Yes, we know, blah, 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 blah. Amazon maintains its own fork of Android called Fire OS for these devices. That is what we're all familiar with, the Fire TV OS. But it lacks Google apps and has completely different user interface to Google's Android TV. If you own a third gen Fire TV stick or its light variant, and are not satisfied with the out-the-box software, you can now swap the Amazon firmware for the source-built Android 11 ROM and enjoy a vanilla Android TV experience. And vanilla means stock Android. Bare bones, beautiful. Notably, Amazon doesn't officially allow unlocking of the bootloader of any consumer Fire TV devices. That's where XDA comes in. And XDA is a great resource for Android ROMs, firmwares, tweaks even for android boxes anything with android on will have its own forum on xda so of course i'll leave the link for this post in the article but if you want to have a look around xda developers it is a great resource in fact i used to develop roms for the old htc phones on there it is a great resource for news and tutorials for customizing android so the senior member on xda k4yoz which i guess is chaos highlights an exploit where you can unlock the bootloader of the fire tv stick 3 codename Sheldon P and the Fire Stick Lite codename Sheldon. Whilst the process doesn't require you to disassemble the uh, Fire Stick itself, it requires an older version of Fire OS which is 7.273 and Linux as the host operating system which is what Android's built on, it's built on Linux. The developers also compiled a unified TWRP, which is TouchWiz Recovery. That's what you use to install the ROMs, and you can install it right away after unlocking the bootloader to gain root access. Now, this is what it looks like, stock Android lineage OS 
This is a screenshot of the Lineage OS running on the Fire Stick and then the XDA forum post where you've got your tutorial for how to unlock the bootloader and then once that's unlocked you can then proceed to install Android TV on the Fire Stick. Now yes this may seem like very confusing information for some of you, I get that. Whereas myself I've got experience of rooting Android, changing ROMs and a lot of you probably know what this means. Essentially it just means you can now get rid of Fire TV OS on the Fire Stick and you can port Android TV, a very stock version of it, but there will be some customizations and you can have Android TV running on the Fire Stick, running Google Play and all that instead of the Amazon App Store. So this is great news. Historically, it's a nightmare to root the Amazon Fire Stick, but this process, because of the exploit that's found, you can do it by the normal rooting process. We can install a custom recovery and we can use that to change the bootloader and the ROM that's installed on the Fire Stick stick and that's essentially what the fire os is it's a rom so we can take that rom and we can swap it for android tv and it's something i really want to do so let me know in the comment section if you want to see this working but i am keen to give it a go and have a look myself and once it's up and running i can show you guys of course amazon doesn't allow the customization of their os it's in the terms and conditions but i am really inclined to have a look at what this looks like because stock android is great but stock android on a fire stick that could be interesting. Let me know what you think. Is this something you want to see? Do you want to see me do it on the channel? Let me know in the comments section. Anyway, that's all for today's news. Make sure you're subscribed. I will keep you updated with the latest stuff in the streaming scene. But that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.